I didn't ever think I'd leave Bain, but I had the opportunity to become uh, President and Chief Operating Officer of Continental Airlines at the age of 32. After that, I had the opportunity to go in as CEO of PricewaterhouseCoopers Consulting and execute a turnaround there. And then after doing that, I become chairman and CEO of Burger King. I'm currently chairman of CCMP Capital Advisors, uh, which is a large private equity firm. I'm the chief executive officer of 500 Job Inc., which is the largest internet recruitment provider in China. After a fun 10 years with Bain, I entered into the world of public health and not-for-profit. I started as the chief executive officer with the World Heart Federation. I was a senior partnerships advisor at the World Health Organization. And now, I have moved back to the corporate world and I'm the global head of public affairs at Nestle. I'm the Chief Financial Officer of Bad Boy Worldwide Entertainment Group. We oversee about 12 different companies. Coming out of business school, uh, the smartest choice I made uh, from a career perspective was actually going to Bain. I got a skill set and a tool set that I still use to this day. We had to lead a team, guide a team, work plan, and make sure that that team delivers. If I could put sort of one thing at the top of the list, it was learning how to 80-20 and take very complex problems and make them simple. I've had times when I'm um, you know, in the uh, green room at David Letterman, while uh, you know my boss is getting makeup applied and rehearsing his line, I have to break down a very complicated issue and get an answer within like two minutes. Working in a multinational arena was something I'd also learned at Bain & Company. Working with so many clients and look at how they um, develop their strategy and how they implement their business plans. A lot of entrepreneurs emerge out of Bain. The number one question I get asked often is, how in the world did you run so many diverse companies? And I really credit that back to the time, that, the time I had at Bain and the fact that at Bain we were generalists. As a chief executive officer, you, you're faced with many uh, challenges that you might not have seen in the past. I think if you're an industry expert, I think the good news is you know inside out about the industry. But on the other hand, you might not be as innovative as, um, or might not be as creative in problem solving as someone else. So I think, I think being a generous is important. Bain people tend to end up in very strategic and important places. Once you've been at Bain, people know and respect what that means. One great thing about the Bain network is that pretty much if you call anybody, people will talk to you, they'll spend a lot of time with you. And we stay in touch both professionally and personally, I think in a, in a just meaningful and thoughtful way. And at the end, you know, as you go through your career and you go through your life, it's those friendships and relationships that tend to carry you. And I think once you're a Bainey, you're always a Bainey. Not only did I develop leadership skills, communication skills, analytical skills, I made a lot of friends. And those friends are still friends that I see around the globe today. You do find the smartest uh, people in Bain and you learn so much from them. You'll never work with a group of people like this at a company ever again. When you think of any place you go in your career, you're really asking the question, what am I going to learn here? How's it going to advance me? And what skill set am I going to take away that makes me a more valuable person? Yeah.